Tutankhamun's treasures. Tutankhamun was a king in Egypt more than 3,300 years ago. He died when he was only 19 years old. When he died, people put a gold mask over his face. They put his body in a coffin made of gold. Then they put the coffin into two bigger coffins. They put all three coffins in a tomb with food and many treasures. The Egyptians thought that the king needed these things after he died. Tutankhamun's tomb was in the Valley of the Kings. No one discovered it for a long, long time. Then a British archaeologist called Howard Carter discovered it in 1922. When he broke through the door, he was amazed. There were gold statues, boats, jewels, toys, masks, and even a gold bed. There were about 3,500 treasures. For ten years, Carter took the treasures from the tomb and wrote about them. Tutankhamun became one of the most famous kings in the world. Today, many of his wonderful treasures are in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo, in Egypt. Structures in space. There are also structures in space. The International Space Station, ISS, is a research station. It's about 350 kilometers above Earth. It goes around Earth about 16 times every day. It travels at 27,700 kilometers per hour. That's nearly 8 kilometers per second. You can see the ISS from Earth without a telescope. The ISS is made of metal. It uses energy from the sun. The first part of the ISS went into space in a rocket in 1998. No astronauts went with it. Most other parts went with astronauts. Sometimes astronauts do a spacewalk outside the ISS to attach new parts. Families and Friends Eid is the Arabic word for festival. Eid is a big Muslim festival. At Eid, people give presents to children and friends. Eid presents are usually money, or things like toys, candy, and new clothes. At Eid, Muslims think about other people in the world. They give food and money to hungry people and sick people. People wear new clothes at Eid. In the morning, they get up, wash, and put on their new clothes. They eat dates and cookies for breakfast. Then they go to pray at the mosque. Lots of people hug their friends. Later, they eat with their family. They also visit their grandparents and say, Happy Eid! Midsummer. 
In June, it's summer in Europe. It's usually warm. The nights are short and the days are long. The longest day in the year is June 21st. It's called Midsummer. At this time, there are many festivals in Europe. People make big bonfires. In Finland and other countries near the Arctic, it doesn't get dark at midsummer. There's no night. In Russia at midsummer, people sing and dance all night. Girls pick flowers and make pretty crowns. They throw the crowns into a lake or a river. Midsummer is one of the biggest festivals in Sweden. People decorate their homes with leaves. They make a big pole with flowers and leaves. They dance around the pole and sing songs. They wear traditional Swedish costumes. Girls make pretty crowns with flowers. The Water Cycle Do you know where water comes from? When it rains, water falls from the sky. This is called precipitation. Rainwater goes into streams. Stream water goes into rivers. River water goes into seas and oceans. When it's sunny, the ocean water gets warm. Some water goes up into the sky. This is called evaporation. The water in the sky makes clouds. Then it rains again. This is called the water cycle. We are lucky to have water in our homes. About one billion people don't have clean water in their homes. Most of the water we use comes from rivers and reservoirs. Clean water goes through pipes to our homes. Water is all around us. We have liquid water in rivers and oceans. We have frozen water in ice and glaciers. And we have water vapor in clouds and steam. Water is very important. About 70% of Earth is covered with water. Most of the water is in the oceans. There are five oceans. The Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Southern Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean. The largest ocean is the Pacific Ocean. It's 156 million square kilometers. It's about 15 times bigger than the USA. There are also many seas on Earth. The largest sea is the South China Sea. It's 3 million square kilometers. One of the smallest seas is the Marmara Sea. It's only about 11,000 square kilometers. All the water in the oceans and seas is salt water. The Dead Sea is about 30% salt. It's the saltiest sea on Earth. It's so salty, you can float in it. Fresh Water
About 3% of the water on Earth is fresh water. Most of this fresh water is frozen. It's ice. It's in glaciers or polar ice caps. Some of the fresh water is in lakes and rivers. One of the biggest lakes on Earth is Lake Superior in North America. It's about 82,000 square kilometers. The longest river on Earth is the River Nile in Africa. It's about 6,700 kilometers long. Some of the fresh water is in the sky. It's in the clouds and the rain. Some of the water is in the soil, in rocks, or under the ground in caves. Most of Earth is covered with water, but only about 1% is fresh water that we can drink. The rest is salt water or ice. Save water. When there is no water, rivers and lakes become dry. Plants can't grow, and animals can't drink. If there is no food and no water to drink, people die too. Water is very important. We all need to save water. You can save water at home. Turn off the water when you brush your teeth. Take a shower, not a bath. You can also save water outside the home. Collect rainwater to water plants. Don't throw things into rivers or lakes. People and animals need clean water, not dirty water. Remember, our Earth needs water. People, animals, and plants need water. Save our wonderful water. Floods can happen when there is too much rain. Rivers and lakes become very full. Floods can also happen when there are very big waves in the ocean. Where there are floods, the water covers roads and paths. Cars and people can't get out of the area. The water goes into houses and people have to leave their homes. Sometimes they have to get on the roof of their house to wait for help. Cars and people can't get into the area to help. The police and firefighters rescue people with boats and helicopters. Floods can be very dangerous. The water moves fast and it's very strong. Don't play in flood water. <laughs>